Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with the word of the not so wise. If you're still watching my channel, my 78 subscribers at this point, thank you very much. Um, please share. So uh, spread the word of whatever's on my mind today. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the, the what I feel is like going to be the first classic meme of the year. You know, every year there's around August or September, somebody puts out that calendar, the popular meme. I know this is going to be it, but the dude that attacked the judge uh, the memes are absolutely fire. Well, serves them right for putting a trampoline in front of the bench and um, all these all these things. Quite uh, quite entertaining. Now, I do not condone attacking public officials, law enforcement measure, 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 measures, members. Wow, members of the judicial system in the slightest. But I do kind of like that um, all the corrupt members of these systems kind of got a reality check that they are not untouchable. I thought it was kind of funny that they had him uh, in front of the next judge. So he went back in front of the, that judge for whatever he was there for, gave him like four years, but he went in front of another judge and Jesus goddamn Christ, they threw the entire, all of the books at him, every last one of them. Um, I mean, uh, one of them that struck me as kind of odd, it was uh, like a salt of a protected class or protected person. I assume being that she's a senior citizen or a woman, I, I don't really know. I mean, these uh, these crime laws that affect you differently based on who you have an interaction with is that that never should have been allowed. I mean, uh, hate crime laws. If you're going to have something like that, need to apply to everybody. Um, getting way off topic there, but um, just uh, corrupt members of the ju judicial system, just you ain't untouchable. You know, just just remember that and uh, the corruption of the branches has absolutely got to go. And you guys kind of got a reality check there. Um, I mean, he definitely should not have done what he did just for his own well-being. I, I have absolutely no idea what would compel somebody. I mean, how did he think that was going to work out? Did he think he was going to get a couple of good shots and kill her and then just run out of the courtroom unscathed and just make it? I, I don't know. That's absolutely... Uh, I don't I don't know what goes through people's minds. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and um, write me. Let me know what you want my two cents on. Have a good day.